here in Meth Alley, you see it live. Every meth addict has some type of tweak. And here we are watching the fire department put out a fire from a tweaker. Only in Meth Alley. This is real. No actors, just meth heads. Ones that cannot leave the area. MS 13s, straight from crazy. But this guy right here, he's sitting here talking to himself. You know, 12 o'clock in the morning. Now, this guy right here, he lived there. He's been living there ever since we've been living in that apartment. Probably before that. Probably on the side of the building where we was at until I moved into there. But he lives right there. This was the example for a guy who I knew that, you know, my son, hey man, don't go up and do that shit. Now, this girl, Christina, she is a local trash digger. Uh, she's a meth addict too, uh, but, you know, good, very smart person, but chooses to smoke dope. And she has several boyfriends that she constantly do. This is another day when she's just out doing her usual trash digging, diving, three o'clock in the morning. There go my friend again, going to sleep after a long night of staying up. Now, these meth addicts, I thought, they, I thought they were just waiting on somebody, but they actually pulled over to just have fun. Yeah, they, they pulled over right here and just started partying. Now, this meth addict here, she had a whole conversation, smoking dope, uh, all by herself, uh, tweaking. Uh, it, it was just ridiculous, and it just went on and on and on. And majority of the time, these people wake me up in my sleep, you know what I'm saying? So I hear this, and I look out my window, and this is what I see. This is actually my window where I sleep. And, man, could you imagine this shit going on every fucking day? <laughs> now, I was chilling watching TV, watching you know, something cool. And this couple, <laughs> uh, she just thought, like, slapping on them and... Cussing them out and calling them weak and all type of shit, and they start hugging and kissing each other. You, and they fight again and hugging and kissing each other. You know, for about 10, 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but it was one of the most funniest relationships that I always seen. It reminds me of black. People. That's how you know blacks and browns are white because the dramatic shit that went behind this relationship. <laughs> you know, the, all the hugging and cussing and slapping and. You know, yeah, it was it was crazy. But this is Meth Alley, y'all. I brought this so y'all can see what the fuck I be talking about. Uh, this is what I have to go through every fucking day in my window. So uh, I hope y'all like this shit, man. I'm going to bring y'all some more chronicles of Meth Alley. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Pico Union area. You know what I'm saying? But you know me, this Kenny B. I'm out this motherfucker. What entertainment third eye? Motherfucker Productions, man. Look at this crackhead right here. He was just...